Last night, I packed away the Mission 770 because the video went up yesterday. And in their place, I have put a pair of PSB Passive 50 loudspeakers. Now, the sharp-eyed among you will recognize the fact that, like the Mission 770, the Passive 50 from PSB is also a tribute to the past. In fact, the Passive 50 have been made to celebrate PSB's 50th anniversary because they were founded in 1972. Also founded in 1972 were NAD. Now, NAD and PSB are owned by the same company now, Lenbrook International, and they're based in Canada. Today, I want to talk about not Mission, not PSB, but a new NAD amplifier called the C3050LE. And I'll explain why I'm covering it now, even though I don't have it here yet, it's on its way. I'll explain why I'm making a video about it now towards the end of the video. If we look at the C3050LE and we consider just the basics, right? So the basics are, it's got 100 watts per channel of UCD or hybrid digital amplification is what NAD call it, even though it's not digital, it's class D essentially. And it's load invariant. That means we get 100 watts into eight ohms, 100 watts into four ohms. There's also an MM phono stage inside. There's a Texas Instruments-based DAC inside, which we can feed from the back panel using Toslink, coaxial, or HDMI eARC. So a suite of digital inputs there. There's an analog input, there's pre-outputs, there's like a power amp input, there's a subwoofer output. But over on the left-hand side, and you can't see it in NAD's promotional photos, which is a bit of a shame really, You'll see it says like C3050 50th anniversary edition because this amp is to celebrate 50 years of NAD. But right beneath it, you'll see something called MDC 2.0 or modular design construction. Now behind that on the inside of the amp are two bays basically where you can plug in boards, a bit like a graphics card on a PC motherboard. Now the C3050 LE, arrives from the factory with one board already installed. And that's the Blue OS streaming board. Essentially, it's like a, a Blue Sound streamer inside the amplifier. And that gives us Rune Ready, it gives us Spotify Connect, Tidal Connect, Apple AirPlay 2, two-way Bluetooth. And then inside the Blue OS app, we get a whole bunch of other streaming services but they have to be navigated inside the app. Also inside the Blue OS software, so the software that runs on the Blue OS board and talks to the phone, we get base management for that subwoofer output, which I find extremely useful, and I've covered that many times on this channel in the past. And as a neat bonus on that Blue OS board is Dirac Live Room Compensation. So basically we can hook up the amp to a pair of loudspeakers, passive loudspeakers, and then compensate their output for the room. Now, if we turn our attention to the front panel, this is where this story gets a little bit spicy because yes, there's a headphone socket on the front left. No, that is not just a basic circuit drop from the main amplifier circuit. That is a separate dedicated headphone amplifier according to NAD. But if you look at the front panel, you can see that this amplifier doesn't look like modern day NADs. There's no touch screen like we find on the M33 or the M10. In fact, it looks like a vintage amp and that is deliberately so. Because what NAD have done is they've designed this amplifier as a tribute to the 3030, which I think came out just before the 3020, so the really famous one. So the original 3030 had backlit VU meters and the new 3050 also has backlit VU meters. And just like its sort of vintage predecessor, the new amp has proper sort of rotaries that control balance, bass, treble. There are source selection buttons as a proper volume. Well, I won't say it's necessarily a pot because unlike the 3030 original, I don't think the signal travels through that pot. I think all of these rotary encoders send messages to a volume control or a bass control or a treble control or whatever, somewhere else on the main board of the amplifier. But the one thing you can't miss on the C3050LE, apart from the VU meters, is its wooden sleeve on three sides. That's real wood veneer. It's the same real wood veneer that is used on the PSB Passive 50 loudspeakers that you see behind me. 
I've taken one of the grills off so you can see what these loudspeakers look like with and without grills. So yeah, the amplifier, the CE3050LE by NAD, is kind of designed to be a visual match with the loudspeakers behind me, with the Passive 50, because NAD are sending me a C3050LE. They're also gonna send me an original 3030 as well, so I can do that comparison, that AB comparison, which I think, again, will be a nice twist in my review video when I come to make it in a few weeks' time. Now, presumably, because NAD were also founded in 1972, this new amplifier in the USA will sell for $1,972. Although a German dealer emailed me yesterday to say, John, no, it's not gonna be 1,972 euros in Germany, it's gonna be something closer to 2,500. And I don't know why. It might be to do with supply chain issues or import taxes, don't know. If you really wanna know, you can ask NAD, because yeah, I have no clue why that price differential exists. But in the USA, $1,972. Now here comes the wrinkle, and this is one of the reasons why I'm telling you about this amplifier now ahead of my getting one and making a video, because that could be weeks away. And weeks away could mean that this amplifier will be already sold out, because NAD are only making 1,972 units, right? That's kind of cute, I think, but I think demand for this amplifier is gonna be high because of the way it looks. I've got no idea how it's gonna sound. And to be honest, I don't think it's gonna sound as good as the M10V2 because it uses UCD modules. I'm not knocking UCD modules, I'm just saying they're probably not as good sounding as the Hypex modules. But then again, this amplifier is nowhere near as expensive as the M10V2. But of course, NAD also offer the C700, which is like a trimmed down version of the M10V2. Trimmed down means no Dirac Live on board. And as we know, with the new vintage looking C3050 LE, there is Dirac Live. But the one big difference between this new sort of tribute amplifier and the original 3030 is that back then, in the 70s, NAD were making Class AB amplifiers. And they're no longer really doing so, not really. They're going full steam ahead with Class D. And it's been explained to me the reason why this is, is that NAD believe they've taken class AB as far as they can take it. And so they're now putting all their efforts into class D amplifiers. So this is a class D amplifier, it's not a class AB. So if you insist on class AB, then this vintage looking C3050 LE is not for you. Now Kina Hi-Fi scene observers or scenesters will know that leak audio already have a vintage looking amplifier out there, as do JBL. NAD are not the first company in the last few years to make an amplifier that looks like something from a bygone age. But I'm very excited to get the C3050LE, mainly because, well, two reasons, yes, because it looks like a vintage amp, because it'll be a great match for these PSB loudspeakers visually. I don't know about electronically or acoustically. I've got no idea about that yet because I don't have it. But also because the insides of this new NAD are pure FutureFi. There's a phono stage, as there was in the 3030, but what wasn't in the 3030 back in the 70s was a DAC and a streaming board with all sorts of streaming input options and, let's not forget, HDMI eARC so we can connect to TV. But of course, the other reason I'm making this video is just really practice. You go, practice? Practice for what? Well, practice for me in filming myself because you probably noticed that this camera's on a tripod and Olaf is not behind it. I'm just talking to essentially an empty room right now, which I guess feels a little bit strange. But if I'm gonna make more of these kind of more low rent videos moving forwards, then I need to practice it. So I thought I would make this video today to let you know about the C3050LE before it sells out, because I know some of you will grumble if you can't get one. I'll put a link below. Yes, it's an affiliate link, and yes, that helps me out run this channel financially. But if you also wanna help this channel out, please consider giving this video a like, please consider subscribing to this channel, and something I never say, please also consider ringing the bell. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching. Or HDMI, or HD, or HDM, comes from the factory with one board or, of course the one, hmm.